Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage and motorcycles, especially motorcycles like the Harley Davidson. They're uniquely American and they're all about individuality. And of course, you can customize your bike a million different ways thanks to Dumpy Cycles. Your story is also uniquely American. How'd you get started doing this? Years ago, I worked for a small outfit in a machine shop and I started personalizing parts for my own Harley Davidson. And I noticed I had gained interest in my parts online just by showing pictures. And then from there on, I acquired my own equipment and machines and truly saw something beautiful in the making that I could do. Started my own business and off we went making every part we can imagine for the Harley Davidson Touring Models and making them fully customized. And let's talk about some of the parts you brought here. Now, first of all, the floorboards really stand out. I mean, they're super cool. So the different designs of what we've done with these is all of our floorboards, the profiles of them will not change, but we made them customizable, which is something that we haven't seen anybody else do. And that's when we're talking as far as you want different color combinations, finishes, you want all chrome, you want personalized floorboards where we deep machine engrave your company logo or a design you send us, we can do just about any design within reason. And what if I don't want to customize? What can you do for me? If you don't want to customize, then we offer these on the web. This is our standard black and contrast cut where we have a nice beveled machine edge to match the motor fins on the Harley Davidson and any other accessories you may have. Or you can get it in all black or solid color. These are our standards that we offer today that anybody can pick up and order off our website. Gotcha, and a motorcycle, you look at the engine on there, it's just dying for customization. You've done that with some of the covers you have here Correct. as well. We make the derby covers and the points covers as well, 100% machined in-house made out of built aluminum. We do engravings. We can get wild with it. We can do raised engravings. We can color fill. I mean, the sky's the limit on the designs that we do on our covers. And the shift linkages really stand out. Those are some really cool designs here and designs I wouldn't even think would actually work mechanically, but they look super cool and they work great. Yep, they work great. And we wanted to come up with a simple, clean design with our diamond cut shift linkages that would flow with the rest of our parts, have a match. And if you're going for a show bike, or even a regular around the town bike, these pair perfectly with each other because all the parts match. And then of course you can go wild and you can get deep into custom. And since we're on the Motor Trend Network, that's, yes. that's beautiful. Yeah, we wanted to make that for you guys and that was a fun one to make and we wanted to give that to you guys as a gift as well. We appreciate that and it's gonna be a good conversation piece yes. here in the studio. Now, dash badging right there? You yes, also help these, with are, that. these are dash inserts that fit the touring models as well. Road glides, street glides, these are very popular. We make these in a diamond cut finish to match these parts as well. These are custom ones that we've done in the past for customers to where you can have raised lettering, you can have different colors, mismatch, whatever you want. Obviously here we did our contrast cut, which is very popular. This is a matte finish, but we can do in any color you want where we left the machine engraving on it. And it's very deep and nice finish. You've even thought of the smallest detail, even the ignition switch covers there. Those are, those are cool, I love those. Yep. And then onto the tank badging, which is something you said is one of your most popular items. Yes. And an easy way to customize a bike there. Yep, and our tank badging, what we do is we machine them out and these are our most popular to where people go wild with these and nobody else on the market is actually doing custom tank badges. So we have tapped into that market and we have perfected it and they fit, again, all the six gallon Harley Road Glide, Street Glide and Road King tanks. This is something that we're really proud of that we enjoy doing because again, nobody can do it and especially not like us. And I know you said, we see the Air Force shift linkage there. You do a lot of stuff for the military and you love your military guys. Yep, we do a lot for the military. And like I said, these are fun ones for us to do because the military designs, there's a lot of detail. And I love doing those because it showcases what type of precision work we can do and we can tap into and with the details. And that's one thing that you won't see on the market is you won't see a custom shift linkage with the amount of details that we are offering. And Harley-Davidson owners will be glad to know you do all this stuff in-house right in Washington yep. State. We do all this in-house in Washington. We do all the powder coating. The only thing we don't do is chrome and we wish we could and uh, maybe someday we will. But everything is machined in-house, done by myself and fellow employees. We take pride in what we do. And you're still a small shop, which is really yep. cool. We like it that way because we're giving everybody the personal mom and pop shop feel when they call us. and. 
This is why every part is handled with great detail and we execute it every time with the customer's design to give them a one-off piece that's gonna last a lifetime. And if there's an issue, which I doubt is gonna happen, yeah. how do you back your parts? 100% warranty. If there's any defects on them that wasn't caused by the customer or anything, any part failure, we back it 100% and we stand by our product. So no questions asked. If there's an issue, please contact us and we'll take care of it. And quickly, a couple pieces we didn't talk about here. Here's a transmission cover Correct. and a fuel door cover here. They both look fantastic and, again, fully customizable. And what are these pieces here? Those are saddlebag reflector inserts, and those replace the old reflectors on your saddlebag. You can also even replace them on your forks. They come factory if you wanted to. Those are fully customizable as well, and we can go wild on those with different colors and machine engraving and very popular as well. From mild to wild, from stem to stern, you can personalize your bike, make it yours. Find them at DumpyCycles.com. We shall return with more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. Motorhead Garage presented by Dragonfire Tools is brought to you by RockAuto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Buff Bright Industries, home of Buff Bright Skins, Flamethrower Lightning Products, and Fur Eel. Spark Smith, helping you see and be seen. And by Dead Scent, start treating your nose to better days. Viewers of Motorhead Garage have likely seen the AP Laser Machine. Now this is one of their larger machines here and we've seen it engrave lots of things. It can engrave just about anything, but there are lots of automotive applications, which is why you're here on Motorhead Garage, Shannon. Let's talk about some of the materials we can engrave with AP Laser on a car. Well, you can pretty much engrave on just about anything. Leather, for example. And leather's great. The headrests we've seen done with an AP laser along with steering wheels, too. Right. You can even do, like, glass, acrylic, and mirrors. And moving on to the metal, then, we've seen gas tanks on motorcycles, gas caps, oil caps, and that sort of thing. Even the side of a race car, the entire race car engraved with an AP laser, which was super cool as well. And there's even some applications around the shop, and it's just not just on your vehicle that you can use the AP laser for. Right. I've seen anything from signage to even floors. You can engrave your logo onto your floor of your shop. We're looking at you, Dan the Man Han out there in Missouri. He's done that in his shop. It's very cool looking. And tools too. A lot of folks like to engrave their tools, not just for a personalization thing, but some workplaces actually require those tools to be engraved. Correct. You know, the toolbox is engraved. Also, labeling the spots where the tools should be going is very important in the industry. The folks working on jet engines want to know where their tools are all right. the time, so AP Laser is perfect for doing that. And a lot of serial numbers and that sort of thing. And maybe you have a fleet and folks are engraving the tools to make sure they keep track of all of those as well. Right. And one of the things we get questions about all the time, we've actually seen a car hood done here. Why is the AP Laser the right machine for doing something so big? Well, the AP Laser really is the most versatile laser in the world. And here's why. It's actually a three-part system. So you have the laser itself, the frame it sits on, and the Z-table underneath. And all those are separate from each other. So you can engrave any size item and any weight item. So we've seen it go all the way down to the floor in Dan Hahn's case, and also lifted way up to do giant sculptures and that sort of thing. Right, yeah. Super versatile. I actually heard a story where a guy lifted the laser up with pulley system and engraved the top of the roofs of race cars. Of course, that covers engraving, but the AP laser can also cut. And the question I get all the time, what can it cut and how thick? So you can cut things like wood, acrylic, fabric, MDF, rubber. I've cut up to three quarters inch of wood with the machines, and then we've cut a full inch of acrylic before. So it kind of depends on the type of wood, but if you see, we have this cutting table here, and that helps you to get a better cut. Normally, we see the honeycomb in here for the engraving, and we see that on top here. We've removed that, and this comes standard with the Z table as well, so you have these fins here. Why is this better for cutting? So when heat rises, and the honeycomb, if you were cutting on that, you would get little honeycomb impressions on the back of your material. So using the cutting table just helps you to get a cleaner cut, and it also has a little catcher in there, so you can see there's a vestibule. So if you have little tiny pieces you're cutting out, it will catch those and you can collect them at a later time. Now Nick here actually engraved and cut a couple of things. You brought in these keychains, which mm -hmm. look really, really cool. How do you do that on an AP laser? Yeah, so these are a great seller. What this is, is this is laser engravable plastic. These particular ones come in a sheet of 12 by 20 inches. And so what I can do is I can plot out about 45 keychains depending on the size. And I can run them all to engrave all at once and then cut all at once on the same machine without changing any settings. So, I mean, it's all in the software. And that's plastic you can both cut 
and engraved. How thick are we talking for cutting? That plastic is actually a little under an eighth of an inch, but you can easily cut up to like three quarters of an inch like this acrylic piece here. And this finish is amazing. What do you have to do once you pull this off the AP laser machine to get that finish on the edges? Absolutely nothing. That is flame polished. That is polished by the laser itself. Gotcha. So you're ready to roll once you cut that. Very cool. And now that's different materials we've talked about. This is some stuff you didn't do yourself, but it illustrates the different materials we can do on the AP laser. Here we have aluminum, this is slate, we have leather, and even glass, you can etch on that. What's it like to transition from material to material on an AP laser machine? It's a snap. I mean, honestly, it's a matter of focusing the laser and changing your settings. So you can go from, like, this is a deep engrave on wood to doing something very detailed on slate in a couple minutes. And you can get help with those settings from folks online as well, right? Right, there's a great online community through Facebook and there's just a ton of useful information there. A lot of really knowledgeable people. Like let's say I wanna work with a new material and I don't know anything about it, I can always reach out there and get some help. Don't even need to call in to tax support or anything crazy like that. There's a lot of people out there just ready to help. You're helping a lot of folks out there too with different settings and, and ways to do stuff with AP Laser. This sign is a good example of that. I've seen this online on your YouTube channel. Yes, so I did a video on how to actually create this sign on my channel, Build Dad Bill. All right, you can find him online on YouTube. You can find AP Laser at aplaser.com. And you can find more Motorhead Garage presented by dragonfiretools.com in just a sec. Stay tuned. A special thanks to the folks at Dragonfire Tools for stepping it up. We are now Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. On the website for Shockwave Motors, it says we make electric vehicles cool and they are not kidding. Just take a look at the Defiant EV3. It's like nothing you've seen before. First of all, it's more affordable than other EVs and even more affordable than a traditional daily driver you might find out there, even more affordable than a used car. The Defiant EV3 seats three people, and this is the cool part. It gets a full charge in eight hours, and it charges on any 120 volt outlet, so you don't need special chargers, you don't need a special electrical service to your house. The Shockwave is a great daily commuter. You can drive up to 200 miles a day for only $3. Good looks, well, the Defiant EV3 is gonna turn a lot of heads, especially when that removable hardtop comes off. And let's talk drivability. The battery is strategically positioned and balanced to provide a super low center of gravity that makes the car incredibly stable, even at its top speed of 70 miles an hour. When it comes to safety, the Defiant EV3, second to none. It's built like a race car. The safety features start with a tubular chassis, the roll cage in other words, and that makes the chassis super strong and super light at the same time. There's a passive head-on crash protection design with crumple zones at the front and rear of the car. Imagine that, an electric vehicle that not only looks cool, but it's fun to drive, it's safe and affordable. And oh, by the way, it's made in the USA. Head on over to shockwavemotors.com and check out the Defiant EV3. That's where you can also get a sneak peek at Shockwave's new Draco Sports Bike. Suddenly, the leap to an electric vehicle doesn't seem like that much of a leap after all. If you've got an older Chevy truck, maybe you're upgrading it or you're doing a new build altogether, Katoni Customs can hook you up with all the stuff you need to make it look great. What's the range of products you offer on your website, Mike? We've got anywhere from uh, wheels, suspension, trim, uh, inside to your interior and uh, gauges and whatnot. Now, what makes these trucks so popular? Why do folks love the Chevy trucks? Oh man, there's a huge following for your C10 and OBS trucks out there. They're like a family. You get around enough people and that's what you got. And you have a lot of stuff that replaces the OEM parts, Correct. but you also have a lot of things that give it a little custom flair. Absolutely. How do you find the audience for that kind of stuff? How many people are trying to keep it original and how many are giving it a little extra touch? You know, that's a good question. I would say probably half and half. Everyone likes the original look, but yet still wants to modify it to a touch. Let's talk about some of the products you bought that do just that. You brought along these wham rods, and what do they do for me? It eliminates the hood spring and puts a strut in its place. So a cleaner look under the Absolutely a cleaner look. And what year did the springs get put on the trucks? Well, they've been out for quite a while, but wham rods focuses on 73 all the way up to 99. So now you want to bring the look of your truck a little more up to date. You got some trim pieces here as well. Root LA Customs out of California have remade the body side moldings for your C10 truck, square body 81 to 87, and then also the OBS trucks 88 to 98. 
an array of different colors. We've got blue, obviously the original chrome, solid black, red, and then the trim badges yeah. to match. The badges to go with it. Correct. With some subtleties that are different from the OEM badges there. So a little bit of flair too. Exactly. These are some trim pieces that make the truck look great. You also got some really cool door handles I saw on the website. Yes, Binko Designs makes a billet door handle for all the C10 trucks everywhere from 1960 all the way up to 1987. And Benko's a huge brand. What are some of the other brands that you carry on your site? Well, for wheels, we carry American Racing, US Mags, Corsart, Riddler. We just got into Intro and Raceline. We also carry Snowden Seats. That's a custom seat for your pickup. We even carry slosh tubs, which are your inner fenders for your lowered and bagged pickups. So folks can get products other places. Why should they come to Katoni Customs? Well, I feel that I offer a great amount of customer service. Customers are important to me. Back when I was doing business with other places, I was tired of being put to the side and not getting the attention that I thought I deserved. So I felt that that was something that was important to me to give my customers. Well, you can find the Katoni Customs catalog online, thousands of parts. That's KatoniCustoms.com. And you can find more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com when we come back. Motorhead Garage presented by Dragonfire Tools is brought to you by Clamp Type, the clamp making tool. Steel rubber products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM for radio since 1977. And by Dragon Fire Tools, industrial workbenches with integrated tool storage. This is Motorhead Garage, and this is a beautiful 1966 Ford F Series pickup truck. Maybe you've got a vehicle like this, a vintage or classic vehicle in your garage. We know you love the classic looks, but you don't love that vintage radio sound. You're just listening to one little speaker on the dashboard. And with that old radio, you don't have Bluetooth, you don't have an MP3 player capability, and you don't have satellite radio. But with custom auto sound, you can keep that classic look and you can have all the bells and whistles you'd have in a modern stereo unit. The classic style is obvious, but systems from Custom Auto Sound are not just about good looks. Custom Auto Sound stereos give you superior sound and their units are built to last. Every model is put through vibration testing and temperature testing. Everything is tested at both extreme high and extreme low temperatures. And I know we all love the big rumble of a muscle car, but it's bad for electronics. So Custom Auto Sound runs every one of their products through the ringer to make sure they'll stand up to the rigors of everyday use. Now there's lots of imitators out there, but Custom Auto Sound is the originator and the innovator when it comes to audio products for classic cars, trucks, and street rods. Only Custom Auto Sound makes radios for over 400 different makes and models of vintage vehicles. And in the rare case, they don't have one for your specific model, a universal radio will do the trick. But Custom Auto Sound doesn't stop with custom and universal head units. They also have the speakers to go along with them. You can get speakers that have a vintage look to suit your vehicle or an undercover speaker like we're using here on our Ford truck. You might want to use an undercover speaker to give you sound where space is an issue or if you want to keep the integrity of your classic vehicle intact. Another great way to keep the classic looks of your vehicle but still get the conveniences of a modern stereo, well that's the slide bar radio we've shown you before. The slide bar radio has a digital control panel until you shut it off. Then it looks like a vintage radio with an analog dial. But if removing the head unit is not an option, then you want the Secret Audio SSTV. You can hide the stereo unit anywhere and you can mount the control panel anywhere as well. This is a 200 watt AM FM radio. You've got USB MP3 capabilities. You can also use a flash drive for your music, control your iPod or CD player from it, and it's satellite ready. And of course, with the Secret Audio Radio, you'll get hands-free Bluetooth capabilities as well. Everything you need for your system comes in one box. There's nothing to assemble and installation is incredibly simple. I love the custom auto sound system because everything is color coded. Now those codes are all listed here on the unit and individually on all of the cables in here. USB input if you have a device you want to plug into it. The command control and that is coming from the actual 
command panel here and this thing is great because a couple of screws you can mount it any place you want to under the dash and when you're done with it you just flip it up and out of the way no one will ever know you have it it'll just be our little secret and then of course we have our cd changer that connects it is labeled very clearly right there wire remote also we have a remote that comes with the system this is the receiver here is the transmitter and you can use this little remote to control the entire system we've also got an input for the Sirius XM system as well now here is the wiring harness that actually goes to the vehicle everything is color coded once again all of these are labeled it all matches up all you have to do is snap it in and it'll stay in permanently that is wired and ready to go now for the speakers here this is our our rear line out that's what we're going to use for the speakers we're going to hide underneath the seats here we have an antenna input if you're running an antenna you just plug it right into there from the wire that comes in from the front of the vehicle we've got a subwoofer line if you're going to use that we're not going to use it in this truck external microphone using bluetooth and an auxiliary input if you've got an mp3 player or some other device you want to hook into it we also, of course, have our microphone if you're going to make a hands-free call and lots of extra cable so you can move this unit anywhere around the inside of the vehicle. Custom Auto Sound has hundreds of different applications, and if you want to hide it away, of course, the Secret Audio SSTV. You can find all of this and a whole lot more at CustomAutoSound.com. That is going to do it for this episode of Motorhead Garage, and we hope you enjoyed the ride. We'll do it again next week if you promise to come along. From our entire crew here at Motorhead Garage, we'll see you next time. Drive safely.